Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays as I mentioned in the last video. You will see a lot of crazy replays in the next couple of time. I haven't played too much uh, leather yet. I just don't feel like... I can't really play too much leather. That's the problem. If I I was on 80% win loss and I was so proud of myself. And then there was one day where I had a fat losing streak and I still kept playing for no reason. Which made me really mad. And I still... I'm not able to dump my bonus pool. It's it just grows too much, too fast for me. So I will stick with being on a master, high master niveau, uh, niveau uh, skill level. I am on that level now. I, I am currently playing against master leagues. I beat most of my master opponents. I am playing against some GMs, which you will see as well. Some GM ladder games, uh, not ladder games, but crazy replays versus GM, where I am playing also quite good. So I guess I have a rough plan, and yeah, with that said, you will see a lot of crazy replays. But now, let's jump into that game we have, we have spawning on Cactus Valley Ladder Edition. The Blue Terran, who played random in that game, it's Second SM, who starts with a guest first build on a four-player map. Okay. He's playing against me, the Red Terran spawning in the right top position, Alex Usher. Uh, yeah, so... For me, it's command center first. <laughs> I knew that one was special. I I normally never play command center first, never because I, it, that's a build order I never practiced. Well, but I guess at that game day whatsoever, I was like, oh, come screw it, screw it, screw it. So that's that's command center first. I mean, I I know uh, the the beginning, this the start of the build order. But not the transition and when and why and how. So that's a very wild card for me, I would say. Mm, but yeah, it works. So command center first against gas first, which is very interesting. So we will see how that turns out. And because there's the factory and with gas first, normally you opt for aggression like Banji or Marine Hellion Elevator or some tank Viking shenanigans. Something like that, which can deal real damage. Or maybe even the, the uh, Tasia's auto turret doom drop, tank doom drop, which I'm playing most of the time in TVT, which is super strong. So yeah, we will see how that goes. Uh, because we have the second gas, which makes sense. So it's most likely not the Hellion Elevator. And there we see Tech Lab, so most likely tanks. Tanks on Mars. Bam! And versus gas first, uh, command center first. Marines are good as a unit, but against tanks? Difficult, especially without stim. So, it, it might take some time. Ah, he's producing a Hellion, okay. And a Starport, so... Very interesting. So he wants to have the Banshee most likely out ASAP. So that he doesn't need to wait for the Tech Lab to be finished on the factory to swap it. Yeah, he doesn't need to swap the Starport on onto the Tech Lab because he built it right next to it. That's really smart, so... <sighs> saving as much time as possible. That's really good. And for me we have double barracks and there is the double command center of course. Double orbital. Really nice. I don't know if I remember this game too good. Uh, this was a long time ago I played it. But yeah, there we have the cloaking field and the Benji. And it's super fast. Look at that. The Benji started at like 5 minutes as well as cloak. Which is really fast to be honest. So can deal real damage. And there's the SCV scout, I will see nothing but the supply depots and one single marine. And there's the Hellion, pokes at the front, sees, okay, nothing special there, just a bunker. Well, he didn't see the orbital command, okay. But he can assume. Ah, uh, he might get this SCV kill. Yeah, he should get it. I guess it's first blood. Yep, there we go. And uh, there's the Banji. Wait, why? Wait, yeah, I was wondering. That was the wrong direction. Come on! Ah, he goes for the natural as it looks like. Yeah, there he goes. There's the attack point, right there. There we go. Okay, so, uh, Stim might start soon for me. Double tech lab. No, just one tech lab, so I wanna have all the marines and just a small portion of Marauder, just in case of tanks. Very interesting. Very interesting. And there's the Banshee and there's no turret. 
I, I don't even have... Oh, that could deal so much damage. I don't have a turret. I don't have a viking. I don't have a raven. And Cloak is finished, so... Ooh, how do I deal with that? Yes, I got a bunch of marines, and they're good. But... Uh-oh. Oh, that's not looking good. Six kills already? Are you kidding me? Wow! That's not looking too good here. Uh, one scan goes down, but that was wasted. Another scan. Oh no, I can kill the Benji. That was sloppy for a second SM. But <clears throat> still, the Benji paid off. Two scans, forced. And three Marines killed and eight uh, SCVs by this Benji. So one died to the Hellion. That was, that was really good. Mm. Ah, double eBay, there we go. I could throw down turrets. <laughs> I really should throw down turrets, to be honest. As uh, so there could be another Benji, but it's not. There's no Benji coming for now. Uh, but he, he got tank production. My upgrades are really good, so for if I would play Bio, that would be phenomenal. But I need Medivex soon, as well as the factory. And I guess normally it should be started already. At least the starport should be in production by now. But for me, it's just a factory on the way now. Super late, in my opinion. But yeah, testing new stuff, try to freestyle, not saturating the gas. That's me in a nutshell, basically, sometimes. Ah, yeah. So the army for second SM is not looking too good. He got a tank, some Vikings, some Marines, a Raven. It's decent, but if I would have gone there now, attack with all my forces, I could have crushed him, totally. Uh, but that's not gonna happen. Oh, the Marine! Cease! Maybe the move out. Maybe. Maybe he saw it. Ah, uh, that was... Uh, do I react? Yeah! I know he's coming. And I'm setting up. And Stim is finished. And his force is so small. He does see it. Oh, uh, there we go. Stim to win! Yeah, I can just roll over this one. And kill the other tank as well. Oh, maybe not. So the tank survives. The auto tools are dropped. And I'm trading a lot of bio here. So not the best fight for me. But I killed two tanks, so I guess that's fine. But I could have done better with my micro. Way better. I also could have waited for a 1-1-2 finish, maybe. But it's okay. I haven't taken too much damage. Unit lost tip shows it. I traded mostly minerals for gas, so that's fine. I got the production behind that. Uh, combat shields should, should be started soon. I need combat shields in that game. There we go. Uh, there's a command center for me as well as finally the star so I can start dropping. Mm, second SM starting his own command center. Not too far away. And worker wise, we are both quite equal. Which should never be the case if you are playing command center first against uh, uh, gas first. But the Benji dealt a lot of damage. So that's good. And a second move out here. The Raven not. Too good here with the uh, energy count, just enough for one auto turret. But he's trying to be aggressive again, and he's producing a lot of Vikings. And I'm not sure why that is the case. Sure, Vikings are good for air control, air security, have the vision, it's useful. But you can't heal your Marines with Vikings, so that's that. And he's setting up for a contain here, and I will scout that. With that poor little marine. I got no vikings myself. So I can't deal any damage to him right now. He got the tank in position to deal with that. So yeah, very tough spot. How do we break out of that? Because he can kill the bunker. Scans are good, but mm, at some point I don't have energy anymore on the orbital command. Uh, pulling some SCVs. The good thing is he can't hit those with the tanks. So that's helpful for me, but yeah, he might want to go for that. Uh, there we go, there's one single medivac, so I guess he will kill the bunker, forcing a lot of repair. Ah, there he goes with the marine, really, really, really smart, seeing the drop, going for the flank, because that's the only way I might be able to... Yeah, there we go, oh, the tanks! Get focused down, really nice to run, look at that, ha <laughs> ha crush the army. I'm losing a medivac here, but he's losing a viking, yep, that was, that was a good trade. 
That was really good. But another tank lane set up and I can't attack into that. No way. I need to go back. Mm, yeah. So finally I can land my command center. And we see more barracks being produced for second SM. The upgrades are really good for me. 2-2. Two -two. Finished. Well, second SM got one attack. And that's it. So... In this game, the command center first paying off in terms of upgrades for me because that's one thing I'm neglecting oftentimes still. I'm far behind with my upgrades. Not in TVC, but in TVT especially. And in TVP with my mech upgrades as well. I'm not really keeping up with them. I just don't know when to squeeze them in, but they are so important. And yeah, plus two attack on the tanks on the way as well. I'm supply capped at 113, that's typical for me, very typical. So it's either 113 or 121, 27, something like that. Where I have heavy supply caps most of the time. Uh, I am not sure if I can attack into that. Uh, there are four, five tanks. I got a lot of bio, 2-2, yes, but no, no way, no way. Uh, I guess what I could do is go for a doom drop, but most likely not the case here. I got no defenses whatsoever, so I'm very drop. Uh, I can be dropped very heavily, so there's no no drop defense for me. We got the sensor turret and a quite good position, I would say. So he sees my army, he knows I'm there. I'm not sure why I'm attacking the rocks, but those are table. Those? Okay. I don't find any opening here, so I guess I just back off. Go away. Collect myself. Don't commit to anything I can't win. The problem is my upgrades. Sure, they are good, but I give them time to catch up. A little bit. I mean, there will be a time where I have 3 3 against 1 1, which is awesome. If I max, I should attack, but. It looks like I'm a bit unsure when to go, where. At least I'm producing more barracks, that's one thing. Mm, second SM going for a drop. Might wanna drop into the natural. And so, such a double medivac marine drop can deal super, super um, damage. Let's. It, boom! Okay? It's just awesome. It can deal so much damage. We have. Oh no! Oh no, we have a hidden base. Ah, it's not gonna get scouted! Woo! Hype! So that's, that's, where, it, where, that's where I take my base. Okay. I should get add-ons on those uh, barracks and the factory as well. Ooh, a big drop here! Killing a lot of SCVs as it looks like. And it will be cleared eventually, but I totally missed that. So now, it's second SM's time to strike. Will he be able to get this damage done as well? He needs to deal damage somehow. There are not a lot of tanks for me, just 5 against the 11 for 2nd SM. But this could deal a lot of damage. Here's the scan. Who scans? I scan! I see his army! Perfect scan! Uh, evacuating that one. Uh, looks like we will see a base race. I got one tank. My upgrades are superior compared to 2nd SM's, but. Mm, that's gonna be painful. Very painful. Uh, tanks sieged up. He got so many tanks, they are losing one. Uh, pulling back, losing the command center, saving one. There was a drop, but just three marines went out of that one. Vikings, really helpful with the tanks for him and with uh, killing all my medivacs. But he got no bio left. He's just in tanks and Vikings now. Dropping on top of that tank, that's nice. But I'm moving in here. He got two tanks himself, but there was. Three marines with three three attacking the tanks. Ah, they're so close. There's one tank here. Uh, he moves into the main base. Not quite yet. Ah, uh, he's losing all the SCVs there. That's so close. Oh, bye bye command center. Ooh, yeah, his main base is breached. Uh, I, I'm in. Uh, I'm in the main base. Killing a lot. He's lifting his command center. He's trying to go back, but he's moving into that. And setting up his tanks. I'm so clumped here, that's not looking good for me. Tanks are dealing good damage. Uh, but what is he shooting? He's losing more and more tanks here. Oh, that's not good for him. I guess I've done it. I guess I've done it. Just four tanks, but no bio. 
So the medivac is completely useless for him. The Vikings are okay, but uh, that base trade. I got just way more stuff, and I'm still producing. That's the thing. I'm still producing. Yes, I will lose this auto command, most likely. Uh, this marauder not gonna find any damage. There are two marines. Uh, yeah, and the attack was defended. I lost the orbital command, but I got uh, stuff left. I'm producing some star pods to deal with the Vikings, I guess. But he's landing those, and marines uh, in small numbers not good enough to deal with the Vikings. But his main base completely destroyed, and I got still production facilities, so I can produce if I get the money. Uh, yeah, he's producing vitamins now. He's still got that orbital command loading, but... I would say that's not looking too good here. He will lose those Vikings now. And all those medivacs are completely useless. He got one marine, one SCD and seven medivacs and a vitamin. That's not gonna help him. At all. Uh, one marine for him. He got 2-2 two, two, just against 3-3. Three, three. Yep. So he's searching for anything, for any damage he can find, and uh, he will find the bases, which is good for him, but I would say it's not looking good for him currently. He's resaturating that base, uh, producing a supply depot. Interesting. Throwing on the mules. Okay. Getting a star for himself. Yeah, this marine tickling this orbital command, but he will lose. Oh, yeah, I guess he will see soon the GG. Uh, the marine not gonna do anything. Vikings are there. Uh, he loses that orbital command. He got one left and another one in his initial main base, but I would say he's in a very tough position. Not gonna able to win this because I got two orbital commands here ready. I got production. I can produce, I got the bigger army, everything is in my favor currently. He's not giving up, but I guess he's totally misreading that situation currently. Yeah, Widowmines get cleaned as well. And yeah, Shredder's Marine killing all those SCVs, which is nice, but in the end... Uh, oh, he's going for Banshees. So he's hoping with the cloak Banshee? To, to deal damage and then win the game eventually. Mm, but for that he needs to kill all the commands in the turrets. And there are... Oh, there's one turret left, okay. I'm losing a lot there, losing all the medivacs. That's... that's not good. So this one marine killing... Two more... Two more SCVs. Nice focus fire, that was really smart, but... I don't see him winning. He got two star pods, just one producing currently Banshees. But I still got my main base with the production. And Marines are just good against Banshees if you can scan. So. Now I'm on the, on the hunt for bases. This Banshee might see this SCV, yeah. And now I know it's Banshee time. So I can prepare for that. Yeah, and I see his base. He got a lot of minerals, but no gas to spend anymore. Uh, he's quite gas starved. Yeah, there's a Banji. And it will delay this turret and be annoying, sure, but won't find too much damage there. Uh, the orbital command floating around. He's still not giving up. I should lift this orbital command, otherwise, it could burn down. So. There's a second Banshee, another Banshee, he still tries with the Banshees, but against Vikings there will be one point where he runs out of energy and then I can kill it. So losing that barracks, there's one orbital command left, but that's it. And yeah, there's the turret, won't find too much damage there. And even if he can't compete with my army, there's no way. Mm, the Banshee dealing good damage. Uh, Marines, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, he got this orbital command, but 
I would say that's 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 game now. We got no mining, just one auto command. The, the, the bench is yeah sure, but uh, he's in range of the detection of the turret. Mm, I might lose this orbital command. I can't really repair it anymore. Because there are the Benjis now, but yeah, come on. How do you wanna win this? That's that's game. Yeah, he should know. That's okay. Avoiding the range of the scan. But that's his last unit. That's he just got that one single Benji. And that orbital command. And the Benji dies. And the orbital command should die soon as well. GG! <laughs> there you go! Oh man, seriously? Seriously? Alright. That's, that's, that's so sad that people like that are in Master League and GM, but I guess dicks are everywhere, so... You have to deal with that. Okay, that was a longer game, not the most intense, but it was a base trade and I went commands in the first, so I wanted to show you that you can, with the, the bio drop here with the flank, crushing the army, stuff like that, I wanted to show you that, so thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, as always I wish you a very nice day and 